theater groups, and one that's really made an impact on New Canaan, and I was here when they when they arrived, is the Summer Theater of New Canaan. Ed Libanati joining us brought professional summer theater to Waveney Park 12 years ago. Every summer they've been here. How big is it for you guys to be able to set up at the sidewalk sale and, and reach that many people? Well, setting up at the sidewalk sale is... Uh is pretty simple compared to what we do uh, all oh, summer long. Um, we have a, uh, you know, we come every year to the sidewalk sale. Right. It's great. We uh, give out discount coupons, so if you're looking for a discount, mm -hmm. certainly come to the summer theater booth and uh, you'll receive one. Um, but uh, no, we've always enjoyed and participated with the uh, with the sidewalk sale and with the the town, the community. We feel we're an integral part of the uh, of the e-commerce here or the and the commerce here in town. So it's a lot of fun. Now, what productions do you guys have going on this summer? Funny you should ask that. <laughs> 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 um, this year, um, uh, we have, um, our, for our main musical, Legally Blonde, the musical. Uh, fabulous show. It's It's, fun. Uh, it's yeah. so much fun. It really is. It's a super high-energy show. Um, the uh, the cast is spectacular. Uh, you know, uh, many of them from Broadway in New York. Um, all professional. Our, our theater's uh, a professional theater. Uh, so everyone, that means everyone is paid. This is what they do for their living. Um, but anyway, Legally Blonde is our main musical. And then we, that's on Thursday through Sunday, uh, Thursday, Thursday through Saturday nights at 8 o'clock uh, at Waveney Park. And Sundays at 4 p.m. And then we have a children's uh, program, children's theater, theater for young audience. And here we uh, do professional children's shows on weekends. So that's pretty exciting. Also, we'll uh, do shows for 3 to 11-year-old age children. We get a lot of parents and grandparents coming and bringing their, their, their children, their grandchildren. And it's, uh, it's just great. We'll have a show at 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 2 o'clock on a wow. Saturday. And we'll turn the tent three times over. And you'll see, you know, 150, 200 children come in and then go out. Another 100, 150 come in. Mm -hmm. It's absolute uh, joy to see the, the excitement in their eye, the discovery of, of live theater. You know, in that sense. And it's so important because when I was editor up in Stratford and they've been trying for years to reopen the Shakespeare sure, Theater. Sure, And the naysayers are constantly, theater's dead, theater's dying. Nobody goes to live theater anymore. But then you talk about what you guys are doing and you're turning over two, three hundred seats. Well, I think the key there is not that theater's dead. Theater's quite vibrant. It's it's relevance. It's how are we as a as a nonprofit theater organization relevant to this community? What does the community want? What does it mm. need? And we find that the Theater for Young Audience resonates, okay? Uh, our musicals resonate. Uh, there's a people who come uh, do not expect to see what they see because it's the summer theater of New Canaan. What what is your connotation? It's a mm. oh, it's a you know community high school theater, yeah, community yes. Yes. That's, that's which is which is wonderful. Right, I mean, community is, theater. Yeah. So you know that's that's the, what this country is made of, but that's not who we are. You know, uh, they come in and beating expectations has never been a problem. It just blows the socks off. We have this beautiful state of the art tent. Many of you uh, watching this probably know the summer theater and been to it. But uh, those who haven't, it's a uh, it's a marvelous experience, whether for yourself or for your uh, your children. Yeah. Yeah. And when do you all decide on what productions you're going to do for the <laughs> summer? Because I bet people are asking you all year, what are you guys going to do this summer? Well, 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 falling back to your last question, um, uh, you know, fighting theaters, fighting to stay alive. <laughs> Once we know we're still here after the summer, you know, if you've all come to our shows and, and done what we need, um, uh, you know, enjoy the show, uh, we will certainly be back. Um, but we generally decide in the fall. And, uh, and start preparing. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. But um, if I could thank a couple people. Of course. Uh, you know, um, uh, one of the things we do is we, we try and partner with a lot of the com uh, community, uh, you know, businesses here. We, for example, uh, we have five or six restaurants in town. Some of the finest restaurants are now doing pre pre-show uh, mm. meals and uh, dinners and specials tying in with the summer theater. Uh, we have a lot of businesses that are sponsoring us like Walter Stewart's and uh, Carl Chevrolet, um, Halo Studios uh, on Grove Street gave us rehearsal space, which is just marvelous. So we really feel a, a, you know, a connection with this town. I mean, obviously being a resident for 30 years helps too, but, but really as an organization, we really feel the, the you know, 
the support and the uh, excitement of people who, who know us. Having been here when you came up with the idea when it came in, and to see you still here and being part of the community. <laughs> re- no, really, I, I like that. I really It makes me feel Thank good you. because I, I love the idea of summer theater in New Canaan. And how has Waveney Park been for a venue? Because it just seems like the perfect place. Well, like any uh, any home, I mean, you, when you think of your own home, it's it's wonderful in some aspects and other things you'd like to change. Uh, for the time being, Waveney's working quite quite well. Uh, we hope to uh, possibly have a more permanent re- uh, home in the in the community someday. Uh, that's something we're looking towards. But we're very, uh, very excited. We've been great support from the town and from the Park and Recs co- uh, Commission to take care of it. Stephen Banco has uh, been an asset. I mean, one of the town's greatest assets as far as we're concerned in, in being here. So yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's, it's been good. But what you're saying is, how do we know we're gonna what we're gonna do next year? How we're gonna be here? Well, what we try and do is do the best we can, and if we're gonna fall, we're gonna fall forward. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like that. Now, Ed, where can people get more information on the summer theater? Oh, that's easy. Uh, you can look around for a poster like this somewhere in one of the stores, you know, uh, all around town, uh, or you can go on the website at um, uh, stonk.org. S T O N C, short for Summer Theater of New Canaan, and you can purchase tickets. Find out when the shows are. We have shows uh, tonight and tomorrow. Uh, we had like 11 shows this weekend, so mm-hmm. there's no excuses. Right? <laughs> and we, we go through August 9th, so uh, we hope all of you can come and, and share in what is becoming a, what we like to believe a signature event here at uh, here in New Canaan. Professional summer theater right here in New Canaan. How you can't what go could be wrong. Better. Uh, well, you know. 75 beautiful, beautiful July day. We're in downtown New Canaan. We're going to be here all day. We're going to step out for a minute, come back, and continue to talk to the people who make up the next station to heaven as we get you ready for the 50th annual Village Fair and Sidewalk Sales.